The brand new Moses Mabida Stadium in Durban, one of the icons of the World Cup. Equipped with the latest green technology, it also represents the important efforts being made to try to limit the impact that the competition will have on the environment. This World Cup is expected to produce nine times as much pollution as the last. This is due to the large number of plane trips needed to transport people between venues, as well as the fact that South African electricity is produced by harmful coal power stations. At Moses Mabida Stadium, we've managed to reduce the energy footprint by 30%. That's a savings of about 1.2 million kilowatt hours of energy every year, which will save us in operating costs of approximately 700,000 rand a year. We've also managed to reduce the water consumption at the stadium by about 74%, which is really through the incredible systems of pitch water recycling and rainwater harvesting and reuse at the stadium. And I think Durban is also very proud to be able to say that we will in fact have a climate neutral stadium. It's probably one of the only ones in the world that will be climate neutral. Much of the old stadium in Durban was recycled to build the Moses Mabida complex. 400 tons of steel and 40,000 tons of bricks were reused in the project. In Durban, the authorities are dedicated to respecting the environment. Thousands of trees have been planted all over the town, whilst the biofuel from landfill sites will soon be able to produce electricity. Furthermore, as in Johannesburg and at the Cape, Durban has put together a plan for avoiding traffic jams and limiting pollution. Special trains will run throughout the competition and people will be made to park in compulsory car parks on the outskirts of town. They'll then be forced to take shuttle buses into the centre. It's incredibly important. Um, South Africa is very stressed in terms of its capacities in the national um, energy grid. So the more renewable energy projects that we can get up and running as using the 2010 FIFA World Cup as a catalyst for that, absolutely important for a country like South Africa. And also just getting us into the whole market of trading and carbon credits, which obviously generates revenue streams for other renewable energy and environmental sustainability projects. Environmentalists wait to see what will really be done. But like Dr. Richard Kinvig, an ardent campaigner, people want to believe. obviously will promote tourism, which will promote investment in the country. Investment in the country, if utilised correctly, can add to our, our environmental drives. And we have the, probably the best, or one of the best, environmental legislations in the world. So if we can just keep working at it and keep getting finance and, and capital together to, to actually enforce and ensure that people do take cognizance of the environment, I think we, we're on a winning wicket. With all of this effort being put into helping the environment, the city of Durban hopes to have completely offset its carbon emissions within the next two years.